Hello, Comanche Native here, and I'm playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Taking a close look at the family house, I am going to break down to you the traffic I have been seeing running through certain spots, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and trap those areas just to see what happens. Now, I am in no way telling you this is where you need a trap. This is a must. You have to do it. No, 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 no. This is an experiment and you are coming along for the ride. Now, this is what I have witnessed so far. Pause it if you must, but this is what I have noticed in the matches. Now, what is going to be popping up in red is what they are doing currently, which I think is kind of interesting. When they hit that fuse box, they run right back down the staircase, which is a trapper's dream. And I thought, huh? Wait a minute. We could really guard that staircase now, right? <laughs> now, I did notice that in the killer's cutscene, we are told where the generator is, and we are also told where Grandpa is. Honestly, I just did not notice that. Now, you ever wonder why do they wake up Grandpa so quick? Well, they get a head start. About right here, they are already getting loose. Yes, I know, it's a tad unfair, and yes, it's unbalanced, but hey, we don't die, they do. I totally understand why they did this. I get it, I get it. Besides all the wonderful perks they have to keep them alive, yeah, yeah, I see you, TCM, I do. Now, what I did notice is that when a victim wakes up Grandpa, it means they are impatient which also means they will be reckless and who knows they might get their teammates killed and I welcome that <laughs> now the place I'm going is right here they come up through the staircase they shimmy through here and then that's it so I'm just gonna trap up this area now this is the first time me doing this I did trap up this little crawl space before but it was down, like the little panel thing was down. And when I trapped here, and they were messing with that panel to pull it back up, they saw my trap, and then they just took off. But this is the first time this ever happened. And I was shocked. I really was. I wasn't on the mic at the time, but I was shocked. I got one, and then I got two. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. Now, will I trap at this location all the time? Honestly, I don't know. I'm just playing around and just seeing where they they go. So this is a hot spot for the victims. Now, I do speak on the mic later on because I have to let my team know exactly what I'm seeing. But I thought that was kind of cool. I really did. I was like, hey... Now, when he starts to speak to the victims, that means a victim is close. And lucky for me, Julie was around. Now, I do speak when I go up top, so please enjoy. On this way, two of them. Both Leland and Julie. Upstairs. Where you going, girl? Don't heal. You don't want to heal. Oh. Oh, Leland was late with the shove. Oh. Love not meant to be. <laughs> uh oh. And it went for Fuse. I'm going to trap it up. Now Bubba stops me from trapping this up. Which I thought was interesting. Ah, He steps over my hands. And it stops me from putting the trap down. Alright. It's trapped up. Off 
Hey, and then what's up? Oh! Oh! This is Cook's bedroom. Get out of here. You went back in. Did you go back in? Anna, where are you? Oh, she went downstairs. Oh, they went out the door. Go, 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 cook. Telling the cook to go out the door. He's the slowest one. Now, here's the thing, guys. I thought the victim's lock picked this door. No, no, no. The lock is still on the door, which means a killer opened up the door but then forgot to lock it. Oh, missed opportunity. Well, spoiler alert, they escaped through Val. And I thought, well, instead of just showing that, we might as well just skip ahead. Now, I did rewind it for you guys to see that this door was wide open. I didn't know the lock was still on. If I knew it was still on, I would have locked it once I told Cook to blaze on out the door. <laughs> now, during this cutscene, I realized when they don't show us the generator, it means it's in the front of the house. And I'm starting to notice these things because I'm looking at this game more of a tactic type of game than I want to just mess with these victims type of game. <laughs> and yeah, it is a little sad that they did get a head start. But if you're playing Bubba, you can hear them escaping. So you know that they have an advantage already. But it's all right. It's all right. As you can see, ta-da! Seeing that they didn't give us the cutscene generator, it is now up front. Most likely, they will jump out of that little small window on the first floor just to get to this generator and kick it closed and then just run down the road. Sometimes they do it by themselves, but sometimes they go as a group. Just letting you guys know ahead of time. I will trap up the same area but this time, the little crawl space is closed. And I thought, well, I'll trap it just a little bit away from the crawl space, just in case they want to open it up and, and go through. They can back out of this crawl space. They can. They also have the ability to, if they're going up the ladder, they have the ability to just jump back down. Us, on the other hand, we don't have that ability. <laughs> it would be great to get halfway down the ladder and then just jump down, but no, they make us go all the way down. Again, it is to help the victims have more time to get away from us. I know, I know, it's unfair. Fuse is out in the open. Red room basement door has been opened. Now this is called the gore room. I used to call it the back kitchen. But this is their hiding spots. They hide right here. And then they will hide right over here. And then right here. This is the den hiding spot that they always go to, which is right here because it's so dark. Now, I want to show you guys this, okay? All I was going to do was just simply get some blood, but I heard feet down there. And lo and behold, this red wonderful dot. This means the ladder is being used. Now, it's not a disadvantage, okay, for the victims. 
why well it's such a very small dot for us to see but again the victims can just simply take a little peep and then jump down the ladder you see how tiny that dot is it's really small so again before the victims start complaining oh they shouldn't have that ability yeah, nerf it nerf it well let us jump halfway down the ladder and then give us a less cut scene and then we'll talk <laughs> They jumped down. That's sad. They didn't want to play. <laughs> Leland on the side of the house. Put in a couple of good slices in him. He's going upstairs for fuse. I ran out of energy. Good luck, cook. All right. Hang on. I want to check something now. I'm going to go down here. Oh, got him. Good job. Good job. Alright, going back up. I'm going to close this. So if you wonder, how do I get down to the basement really quick? Well, this ladder is a really nice ladder, especially for the fact that it is so close to the well exit when they jump into the well. Now you might be wondering, well, how do I get to basement door really quick while you're in the house? Just simply go through the den, but go down to the basement and then hang a right. Oh, Sonny. Sonny's near Grandpa. <laughs> oh, I'll just connect it. Hey, Grandpa. Grandpa, wake up. Oh, got somebody. Oh, Connie's over here. Connie's going upstairs. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm editing this and I can't. <laughs> did I just witness a new perk or something? Like, did you guys see that? Did you see Connie? Did you see, did you see Connie? Connie, why is it always you? What is up with you, huh? Huh? <laughs> Watch Connie. Watch Connie. Oh, God, no. Watch her <laughs> do a little bunny hop. And just smash right into the door. But, you know, she doesn't have any damage. Look. She's like, Whee! <laughs> what the? <laughs> going, Connie. Where are you going? I want to follow. Connie's upstairs. Oh, you went through this way. <laughs> Come here. Oh, she's got to jump out the window! <laughs> Spoiler alert, Connie didn't make it! <laughs> now, I wanted to show you guys this. The Val can spawn in this direction right here. But then Grandpa wakes up and says, Hey, hitchhiker, get to work. And I'm like, Yes, sir. Yes, Grandpa. Now, I'm going to trap the area up again in this location and I thought this was kind of interesting again killers out there if the trapper is laying down the trap do not get in their way because you stop the trapper from working as an example right here sis 
puts her little feet where my traps are, moons me, and I'm thinking, thanks a lot, sis. <laughs> Now, they did tell us we can no longer trap near the top of the ladder, but they didn't say we can't trap at the bottom. And you can trap at the bottom. I've done it a couple of times. Trust me, it is very fun to watch them think, oh, I opened the basement to the ladder. I'm going up. And then they get trapped up. Oh, I just love it. I'm sorry. I just love it. <laughs> but remember, when you lay down your traps and you trap some victims, they will get on their mic and tell other victims trapper has trapped by this and that so it's up to you if you want to change your traps around now this is the first time you're doing this right here trapping at the beginning of the staircase i added a little nice touch by turning off the light why because the victims love the dark they do now in the last update the pc community was tampering with the darkness file on the game to make it brighter right manipulating the game itself now if you're on console you can just simply adjust your television color settings you know what I'm saying make the television a little bit brighter and less darker it does help in fact my brother did it to my television and when I go into the basement while being Bubba, I can see them. I can. Now, before people start crying, no, that's manipulating. No, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Because if I choose to brighten my television, then that's my choice. I bought the TV. They didn't. <laughs> now, I know some victims are watching too. And that's okay because eventually they have to play killers as well. Enjoy the clip upstairs. Julia's upstairs. When you see the children, I'm chasing her. You will be dead. <laughs> oh, did she go downstairs? Oh no, she's, she did it. She's over here. Go ahead and run. <laughs> That's the fun part. She's looking for Fuse. Now it kind of gets slow around here because I decided they want Fuse and I know it. Now if you have that gut feeling that victims will come back to a place that you saw them at, go with it. Because it's about 90% you are correct. Yeah, I know, you won't get a lot of points. But hey, if you can stop them from getting something, I say go for it. He started talking at this point so I thought, okay, they are close. But I didn't really quite know how close. So enjoy the rest of this clip. And I will fast forward it when it starts to get a little too slow. I'm up here garden fuse. Oh, got trapped up twice. Oh! Now if you have really good earphones that have surround sound, you can hear their feet outside. So I knew they wanted views, but I didn't know if they were going to have backup or not. So I just waited them out. So enjoy. Hey, Julie. <laughs> you want fuse? You want fuse? Julie's upstairs trying to go for fuse, but I blocked her. Again, you have to weigh your options here. Yes, stopping them from getting fused is a delight, but it's the cost of your points. Yes, that's right. You have to keep moving around because if you don't, the game's going to think that you lagged out or you locked up and then it's going to kick you. So always keep moving around 
I wish I was sissy because I could actually hide in one of these places and wait for them to come in for a short time until I have to be pushed out of the hiding spot. Hey, Leland, what's up? <laughs> now, he went into that other room way over there, but he did not take off, which basically told me he wanted me to run after him so maybe Julie, who was up here earlier, could get the fuse. Oh, it's just me, sis. I was guarding that. Oh, you open the door. <laughs> Leland is over that way. He's still up here. Well, spoiler alert, they never came back. They didn't. And seeing that sissy already broke down the door, I can no longer funnel them through the bathroom or that little shimmy spot. Yeah, only one person escaped, though, which is kind of fun. But we're going to go ahead and skip forward to the next match. Again, trapping this little area here, except this time I decided to trap the little fuse as well. I think it's kind of interesting that this is such a hot spot. And I get it. This is the quickest route to get to the back of the house instead of going all the way around. I think this is where it's easier for them to get car battery this way. Now, I know victims are watching this, and they're saying, well, you know what? I'm not going to go through there. Good. <laughs> good, good. Don't go through there. Again, I'm just experimenting here. Will I be trapping in this location over and over again? I honestly do not know. I like to trap up different spots just to see how the flow is, the traffic, the foot of the victims. The feet of the victims traffic if it's good or if it's not. And right now, that's the hot spot down there. In that little tiny small shimmy crossway. Now I was thinking about trapping this ladder. Going down there and trapping the ladder. But I decided no, I better not. I was getting into my hunting mode until the cook showed up. Now I do talk on a mic, so please enjoy the action. It gets chaotic pretty quick. Especially when you start trapping people. Speaking of, this one panicked and came back towards me, but I couldn't even strike at him. That was disappointing. And it by Grandpa. Oh man, did you see that? <laughs> I guess that brings us to a really cool tip as well. Always slam through doors. Why? Well, sometimes you might get lucky and slam the door onto a victim. Yeah, they're immune when they're laying down there. They can get up and then run off. But I had to slow this one down because when I slammed through this door, Bubba slammed through the door and Leland just kissed the floor. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Connie. Oh, she got dressed up.
Oh, basement door is open. Hang on. Leland, no basement exit for you. Oh, she's sick! Mm, she's lucky. Alright, it's closed. She glitched out. What the? Ooh, you lucky, Anna. You lucky. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, good game. Wow. From one killer to another, I hope you enjoyed this killer traffic report. Remember, this is based on my experience as I play in the game. Now, what works now might not work later. And yes, the victims are watching. Now, if you want some maps, hey, guess what? Texas Chainsaw Massacre does have maps, but they look like this. The Steam community posted up some maps about the basements, which looks pretty sweet. Now, I will put both links in the description down below for you guys to check them out. Again, I am in no way telling you what to do, because I believe in you. I really, really do. Honest, I do. And don't have mercy on these victims. Do not do that. Trust me. This is Comanche Native, and I hope to hunt you later.